The KSAM Wake Up Morning Show. Okay, let's take a look at our hometown happenings page. You, have you gone to the farmer's markets yet? I have. On the weekends? Oh, good stuff. They got good honey you there. You can discover nutritious, fresh mm. food, beautiful native plants. The farmer's markets in Huntsville, New Waverly, Conroe, Montgomery, Navasota, and beyond. Uh, in the month of May, you're often going to find plums and blackberries and strawberries, as well as like things like spinach and broccoli and carrots. So most of these are all open on Saturday mornings. Be sure you check uh, local locations. We've got uh, the one that happens over on 11th Street there in front of Shenanig- yeah, Shenanigans mm-hmm. uh, in the parking lot there. Uh, I always like to get over there early, and they got some good stuff. In fact, you could also get uh, some homemade canned pickles. I didn't know about the pickles. Mm, I knew about good the... Good stuff. The, ooh. Yeah, drop some jalapenos in there, and it's good stuff. Ooh. All right, so uh, find out all of the local farmer market locations on our hometown happenings page. Go to ksam1017.com. Our community spotlight brought to you by Wiesner of Huntsville. Dustin Lynch and Jelly Roll in Chevrolet on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos. Your weather forecast coming up. Justin Moore, Jason Aldean also still to come this hour. A new study has ranked the most misunderstood sayings from across the U.S. For example, yins is Pennsylvania's version of y'all. But a third of Americans thought it was just a made-up word that didn't mean anything. Yeah, yins instead of y'all. Well, here are some of the most misunderstood sayings from across the United States. Taverns in South Dakota, that's a type of sandwich similar to Sloppy Joe's. Hmm. Uh, Right out straight in Maine, it means you're really busy. People who aren't from Maine thought it meant you're telling the truth. Carry in Mississippi, literally, C-A-R-R-Y. Most thought it meant to carry a gun like open carry, but it's another way of saying you're giving someone a lift. Uh, The word grill in New York means to stare at someone rudely. Gnarly in California, it can mean something's cool, but surfers still use it to describe big waves. That's a gnarly wave, bruh. (laughs) Dirty bird in Kentucky. It's not an insult, it's a slang for KFC. Um, grinds in Hawaii, it can mean you work hard, but in Hawaii it also means food or a meal out. And borrow pit in Montana. People in the poll thought it meant a donation box. Nope, it's a ditch along the side of a road. The more you know. Dwight Yoakam and I sang Dixie on 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman, you're listening to 90s at Noon. Your weather forecast coming right up. Tanya Tucker and Sammy Kershaw also around the corner. Well, in the last hour, I had your first food story of the day, and it was about whether tacos were sandwiches or not. But now, here's your second food story of the day, and this is about Pizza Hut announcing that they're adding burgers. Sort of. They're called cheeseburger melts, and described as, quote, a Parmesan crusted thin crust melted, folded, and loaded with beef, applewood, smoked bacon, onions, mozzarella, and cheddar, like a burger would. They're embracing the fact that they don't come with a traditional bun saying, quote, goodbye to soggy bun burger deliveries. So they're a bit like a pizza, a bit like a burger, and they look a lot like a quesadilla. So it's a burpisadilla? A burpisadilla? That doesn't sound appetizing. You know, fun fact about quesadillas. Uh, Not much a fun fact, but how my friends used to call it growing up just to mess with our youth pastor at church instead of we wouldn't intentionally mispronounce things just to make him mad so instead of quesadillas my friend drake would call them quasadillas don't ask me why i mean come on we were like 15 what do you want us to do dustin lynch featuring jelly roll on your hometown radio station 101.7 k sam good afternoon i'm big land edwards your forecast is coming right up i don't know if you heard about this or not but there's a town in ohio called marysville which is getting some press for money that somebody put in their public restrooms. Yeah, this is for real. A couple of weeks ago, more than $25,000 in cash was found in a public restroom at the Avalon Theater there. Uh, It's a performing arts venue in Marysville. Then about a week later, more than $12,000 in cash was found in a public bathroom at a KFC, again, in the same town. Now, police say, of course, the hidden cash uh, was... uh, you know, something going on with both, right? So it wasn't there left accidentally. Uh, in the theater, the bills were in multiple individual stall trash cans, while at the KFC, the money was banded inside of the tanks of several toilets. 
Hmm. Both stashes of money were found by employees of those businesses. How'd you know to look in the toilet tank, though? I don't understand that one. Uh, nonetheless, naturally, authorities believe the two cases are connected. They don't know how yet, and they have no leads so far. 